Jess here. I am just refilling my Seed DSO-1 Daily Symbiotic and I want to say thank you to Seed for sponsoring this vlog. I also have a code Carolyn15 for 15% off your first month's supply of the Seed DSO-1 Daily Symbiotic. Chat. I don't know if this is the best angle, but it's better than when I like do the upright thing. So it's Monday morning. We're still kind of amidst fashion week. I have nothing for fashion week today. And then tomorrow I have a couple events that I'm really, really excited about. So um, I think I would have already posted a video explaining. I think I was going to do like a Q&A or something, but if I didn't, this is the first time you're hearing about it. My dad's in town because, for a few reasons. One, today's Monday, September 12th. I was supposed to be moving today. <laughs> My new apartment. <laughs> and he came yesterday so we could get things together. And then the movers were going to come today, the whole nine yards. And I'd be living at my new apartment. And then also he was coming because he's going to Atlantic City with a ton of his really good friends from college. They do this almost every summer. Um, so it was kind of a nice pit stop for him to come here first and see me and it just worked out that I was supposed to be moving Basically when I got to go see the, I didn't even get the keys to my apartment yet, but when I got to go see the apartment um, Briefly last week before um, Like after the person before moved out and all the furniture was out There were some major issues that I could not move into that apartment. So I got super lucky and The building really worked with me. I got all of my money back Someone else wanted the apartment, so they just gave them to that person, and I gave them, I guess, enough notice that it was fine because the market's so fast here anyways. I'm so thankful because obviously I would have moved there if I had to, but there were some big issues that I didn't see when I first toured it, mainly when all the furniture was out, whatever. So, back to the drawing board. Um, I just, like, haven't talked about it online because I just haven't had the energy, honestly, to, like get all into it because it's been really stressing me out and then fashion week and then my birthday and then my friends are coming this week and there's just a lot going on honestly like it's fine because i love my apartment and i'm not like mad to be in it a couple more weeks but it just sucks because my dad was so kind to like obviously book these flights and come help me and now you know i'm like okay like you know so trying to figure out things we can do to like kind of help me for my move while he's here and then also just hang out tomorrow's his birthday um, so, and we had a lovely day yesterday. We did dinner. My aunt came into town. It was really, really nice. Today, um, for his birthday, he wanted me to take him clothing shopping, which I always love doing. I'm like, that's so much easier and it's more of an experience for the both of us. So we're going to be doing that. I'm also doing a fitting for, um, Kourtney Kardashian's Boohoo fashion show tomorrow, which I'm so excited. So today's the fitting. Brooke and I are going. I'm like, if she's gonna be there, I'm going to scream. Like, I assume she's gonna be there, right? So yeah, that's kind of the lowdown. I also have a storage unit at this apartment that I will not have, assumingly, at my next apartment. So there's that. So my dad's gonna help me clean that up. Just washing my hands. Um, what else? Oh, you're probably wondering where am I moving now? So last week, literally the day after I got back from Tampa, I found out right before I went to Tampa and then I missed my flight last that night. It was just like a whole thing. Um, I was like literally on street easy every single morning like refreshing 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 while I was in Tampa and Then finally I saw this unit and I was like I can come see it as soon as I get back in New York um, So I went and saw it. It is a stunning unit. It has really amazing natural light It's actually a lot bigger than this apartment and the other apartment that I was going to move in Because I was a little bit nervous about the closet space in the next one It looked like it was even a little smaller than here Guys, this place is insane. So it's a condo. So I've been approved for it initially, but I haven't been approved by the condo board. I don't think it's going to be a big issue, but there's just like a whole process I have to go through with them. I'm pretty sure I am going to get approved. It's just like the process I have to go through with them now, like doing all that. So it's technically a condo, but it's, 
I call it an apartment. It looks like an apartment to me, but it's like, it definitely has nice finishes, whatever. So I was really excited. I applied, I uh, toured, I approved, I was approved. I'm obsessed with it. Um, it's in Greenwich Village, which is another neighborhood. When I was looking at apartments, I was looking at Greenwich Village, NoHo, Nolita, Tribeca, Soho, Hudson Square. So this one's in Greenwich Village. It's a great central location. Um, and the unit is stunning. It actually has, I didn't like look up two beds. I just was looking for one bed and it actually has an extra little home office, they call it. It's just a little room, no window or anything, but I think I'm gonna make it into like a closet glam room, which I've always wanted, which would be so cool. Um, and then obviously it just has everything kind of similar to what I have now. So I'm going to see it again on Wednesday. They're letting me go see it on Wednesday with my dad while he's here and Sierra's gonna come down and we're gonna take measurements the whole nine yards. So I'm really excited. I'll show you guys the space when we get there on Wednesday. Um, but yeah, the caveat there is that I don't know exactly when I'm gonna be able to move in. This lease is up September 30th and I was looking so far in advance, you guys have been watching my vlogs for a couple last couple months now to worry because I wanted to have some cushion time to have both apartments. So for moving purposes, it's just easier, whatever. I didn't wanna have to put my stuff in storage. This unit, since it's a condo, even though it's available now, it's ready. It like has a process so I can't move in to, until all this is done. I'm doing a call with them today to like, Let's get this done, but I don't like it's not in my hands for the condo board to like when they have their meetings and everything. So the realtor told me he was like, there's a fat chance that you might not get to move until like October 1st, October 2nd. So I'm gonna call my current building and beg them to see if I could like stay for two extra days. Apparently, my realtor Mackenzie said that sometimes they allow that. So I'm gonna see. If not, I have to put myself in storage, which would really suck, but this unit is so worth it. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the catch up if you guys didn't know that and yeah, so My dad and I are just kind of vibing this week. He's helping me with what I can He's gonna come see the apartment with me and we're just spending time together and then also have fashion week stuff And my friends are coming on Thursday for my birthday. There's just like lots of things. So <laughs> Welcome to my week in my life in New York City. I'm gonna fix my hair My dad and I are gonna do some shopping in Soho and then I'm gonna do this fitting and yeah, we might go for a West Side Highway walk later and just other random things. So that's where my life is right now. Thanks for following along. I can't wait for you guys to see this new unit. You're gonna die at the windows in the living room. It's a corner unit and it has a little balcony. I wouldn't even say it's a balcony because you can't put a chair on it, but you can step out onto it. So it all worked out for a better reason. I loved that other building so much, but this unit, it just wasn't what I thought it was initially. So. Yeah. All right, we are Soho bound. Dad, you excited? Yeah. Yeah. He's holding my fashion pass. We're gonna return those along the way. I'm taking every last minute of being able to wear like sundresses in the city, so we're doing that today. Wearing my Vela, I wear sunglasses. I couldn't be bothered and just pulled my hair back. Here is the fit. I wore this dress in the Dominican Republic. It's Revolve. I will link it below for you guys. Um, so we're gonna go to Soho. And while we're there at one point, pop into this fitting and yep, using my Orium tote bag. That's what you need to know. Let's get started with the day. Cappuccino at this place called Pie Bakery in Soho. I literally used to get these in Greece and they are so good. They're like an iced cappuccino essentially. All right, we are now walking to my fitting. My dad's just gonna like chill while we do it, meeting Brooke there. I'm excited to see what the options are, what we're working with. Can't believe I'm hopefully gonna see Courtney Kardashian tomorrow. Crazy, also. It's one of those days where I'm drinking non-caffeinated, or no, I'm drinking caffeinated coffee. So I was like, Dad, don't let me finish this. I feel like Kourtney Kardashian. I feel like this is something she would wear. 
Yes. Oh my god. Hi. Hey vlog. Wait, you look so cute. I didn't appreciate oh your outfit. Thank you. Love. Aritzia Revolve. <laughs> Just picked up my packages from the mail room. We did all kinds of fun things today. My dad is getting the true gal on the go day of my life. He's like, are these how all your days are? I mean, we haven't sat down. I'm like, yes. So it's fun having him around and him getting to experience. Although we didn't get to be moving today, it's kind of fun to have him see kind of like what a, what a day in my life is like. Um, we walk in and my apartment gets pretty cold and I like it like that. And he walks in and he's like, oof, it's cold. I'm like, I'm giving you a sweatshirt <laughs> and you're putting it on because it feels so good in here to me. <laughs> a nice gray don't text hoodie. Yeah, this is warm. Repping the gal. Yeah, you'll be nice and warm. Is this unisex? Unisex, yes. It's gals on the go, but you know. Okay. I actually thought that was my play grain one. I was giving you the Hamptons one, but I don't know where it went. It's nice and cozy, right? Buy our merch. <laughs> gals on the go.com slash shop or shop gals. Shop Gals on the Go Podcast? No, Gals on the Go Podcast.com. <laughs> you got this. Um, anyways, just found out I have to film out, fill out a ton of forms tonight to get this condo. Oh my god, look at you. You look like a trendy TikTok boy. Nice and warm. You can cozy up with the Barefoot Dreams blanket. It's too hot. It's too hot. Oh, you're right. I also wanted to film a Q&A video. Because I feel like it's been a minute and that's going to go up before this. Because I wanted to like fill people in, have some PR to open, things to be done. Alright guys, it's time for dinner. Making my dad and I, one of my favorites, brown rice, black beans, and broccoli. Alright, dinner is served. Hopefully you like my cooking. I will love it. I will love it, he says. Cheers. Folding my laundry. <laughs> I'm folding my laundry and I had a dryer ball um, in the light in my leggings so I pulled it out and just like threw it over there and my dad thought it was like a rat scurrying across. Hey, it's something possible here in New York, so <laughs> it's just funny your face was <laughs> an albino rat, yes. Cheers, happy birthday. Yeah, happy birthday, sweet. Oh yeah, thank you. <laughs> I let my dad drink the um did you say happy birthday? I let my dad use the ember mug today because it's his birthday. And he's the OG ember drinker, but I wanted a big cup today. Good morning. Alright, it's, it's basically fall. I've got the Yule log on. The vibes. Dad, it's your birthday. We should do self-care eye masks together. <laughs> or I'll just do it. I'm gonna try one of these. Revive Instant Deep Puffing Gel Eye Masks. Because we have two shows today. Two fashion shows. Okay. I feel like Batman a little bit. It feels really good. I love how it's... I don't really know what it's doing for my eyebrows, but we'll take it. Okay, you guys. Good morning. I just got my month's supply in of my seed, DSO one Daily Symbiotic. I love how they just send you these in these sustainably delivered little packages so they don't keep sending you jars. We love that. So this Daily Symbiotic was developed for systemic benefits beyond digestive health. The first in the pipeline of clinically studied next generation products. Seed is absolutely amazing. All of my friends take seed, I take seed. So basically, in this Daily Symbiotic, there's a 24 strain broad spectrum probiotic and prebiotic formulated for digestive, gut, immune, and additional systemic benefits, which we love. So, I don't know if you guys can tell, but there's a prebiotic outer capsule made from Indian pomegranate. The outer capsule is basically like this elegant barrier to oxygen, moisture, and heat. No refrigeration necessary, which is awesome because I feel like with a lot of prebiotics and probiotics, you have to refrigerate them. These you do not. And then, I don't know if you guys can tell, but there's the probiotic inner capsule, which is proprietary formulation that was clinically and scientifically studied. So, it's good stuff in here. You've got the outer prebiotic and the inner probiotic all in one capsule. We love that. And then like I was saying, they sent me this 30 day refill to refill the jar I already had. Sustainably delivered each month. 
Um, also, the shipping box that it came in was also constructed from ecological paper that was made from algae that would otherwise damage fragile marine ecosystems, which I know is a big concern right now. So Seed is just doing many great things in one. And this is home compostable, bio-based, a pouch that keeps oxygen and moisture out while being planet safe. So you can feel good about putting good things into your body. Again, I want to tell you guys my code. It's Carolyn15 to get 15% off your first month's supply of seed. Okay, guys. So my dad and I are going to go down to my gym and do a little workout together. Well, I'm going to do 12 through 30. And he's just going to do like dumbbells or something. But I was saying to him how, you know, I really have been trying to work out more and be more active. So he was like, well, I'll go down with you and do something. So this works out perfectly. I'm going to do 12 through 30, which is an incline of 12 on the treadmill, speed three for 30 minutes. It's an easy workout when you're in a pinch. And I'm just going to shower directly after that and wash my hair so it's perfect timing. Here's my workout outfit of the day. The set is year of ours. I love it, it's so comfortable. And I love green, and then I just pulled my hair back. And then I'm wearing my hokas, because they're the comfiest when I'm on the treadmill, because they're good for like walking and running. Not that I'm running. <laughs> okay, workout was good. I showered, I washed my hair. I put in some like Kristen S air dry hair stylers. Hopefully my hair air dries nicely. And it's the fit for lunch. We're doing a little birthday lunch. Woo! Top is Princess Polly. Pants are Revolve. And then my flip flops are also Revolve. They're really slippery right now, you guys. I need to get them on some cement to scuff them up on the bottom, but they're from Revolve. My tote. We're going to 12 chairs because I took my mom and she was obsessed, so I feel like my dad's gonna love it too. And he wants to go there. And he's helping me with trash. Sweet angel. Dig in. Wow. Okay, guys, we just got back from lunch. Hair and makeup's gonna be here shortly. I have outfit changes tonight, and I'm not gonna be able to come back after. So, here's the dress I'm gonna be wearing to the Boohoo event. I am so excited. Boohoo Kourtney Kardashian. This reminds me of what Hailey Bieber wore to the Met Gala a few years ago. Feeling risky, and Audrey Challenger is wearing the black one, so we have to get a photo. So that's what I'm wearing, but the first outfit I'll be leaving in is this number from Cynthia Rowley. It's black, it's my, probably my favorite look I've worn of hers. Look how amazing, it's a top and then the bottoms also have fringe. Honestly epic, I'm so excited. I'm just gonna wear nude heels for both so I don't have to worry about bringing a second pair of shoes. Accessories. I'll probably take my necklaces off because this is a high neck and this is silver in the back. This I'll just wear like, I'll just wear earrings for both. Bag I need to figure out though. Guys, ah, Kat just did my makeup again. She's a gal on the go, but I just had to get you in the in the vlog. She's heading over to Brooks now. Yes, I was like, whenever she walks in, I'm like, please have a Tovo. Sherilyn just left too. I forgot to vlog like when I was sitting in the chair because I was forgetting we're like talking and stuff. I did a similar look that I did um, for the Batman red carpet. I just loved having the one ear behind, she did curls, she crushed it. Kat and I, we went for like, we, yeah, I did all of this. Um, we went for the similar, I said it again, similar like eye look that um, she did on me for the Revolve, Gal the brown one, but she just added like some pink ear tones because I'm wearing that pink dress too, so. I'm obsessed, I'm obsessed, I'm obsessed. Thank you, thank you. Oh At cam.artistry in New York City. She's the best, I really like can't stand up for things. Good vibes around here, baby. So while I was getting glam, my dad went to Whole Foods to get me some things. So will you do like a little haul for me? Okay, of like your yeah. are these like your favorite things or no, what? They're just things. Things. Okay. Small sweet potatoes. And I, I bake them for just about forty five minutes at three hundred fifty degrees. And I put on butter and cinnamon. Yum. Blueberries. Of course. Instead of spaghetti, squash spaghetti. Summer squash, Local. yum. Erythritol, very healthy sweetener. Much, much, much better than sugar. You can use it for baking or anything you would use sugar for. Mm, yum. It's good for your gut biome. Oh, we love some gut biome stuff. This is keto bread. Oh yes, you told me about this. When toasted, and if you like toast, it tastes really good and it's like, 
Very low carbs. Put some butter? Yes, very low carbs. I cannot find Italian volcano <laughs> this is lemon juice, but this is probably decent. And you know, you drink lemon water with all your meals and you'll have better health. Ah, sheep you yogurt. found it. So in benefits to your health, there's sheep yogurt, goat yogurt, and down here is cow yogurt. <laughs> you heard it sheep here. Sheep yogurt. Much better healthy proteins and fats, the type of proteins and the type of fats, and more vitamins. Yum. Eggs, per my request. You should always try to get pasture-raised organic eggs, but your second choice, you should consider getting omega-3 eggs, especially if you don't eat seafood. You need omega-3 fats, and some people don't eat seafood, so this is a way of getting your omega-3 fats if you're going to eat eggs. Nice. Didn't know that. Kombucha Aww. for Danielle, and this is the kind of has alcohol, actually. Just oh. Gotta show my ID. Getting crazy with it. Cauliflower pizza crust. Yum. Low carb, very healthy. Strained tomato sauce. So they take the skin off, and they take the seeds out. And it makes it healthier. This is the way they serve tomato sauce in Italy. Oh, yeah. Oh, are we making pizza? Yeah. Yum. Mozzarella. <gasps> However, yes. this is from Buffalo. Oh. Buffalo mozzarella is better than cow mozzarella. Mozzarella. And oh. that's my... Thing. Oh, and ketchup. Oh. Low, Primal Kitchen. I love this brand. Low, low sugar. Love. Well, thank you for showing me some of these are some of your favorite essentials yeah, to get. I buy all the some stuff. easy, healthy meals. And what you asked for? Oh uh, yes, uh, to clean. Thank you so much, Dad. To clean my um, whatever my earring, my piercing. They said use dial antibacterial, and so so. I will do that. Thanks so much, Dad. So hopefully we can um, fit all this in the yeah. fridge. I think I think we can make it work. Well, can we I just got dressed, and my dad's gonna help me take some photos before I leave. I'm gonna take photos there too. But if I ever have time, I like to take photos before I leave just to get insurance because then I get really upset if I didn't get a photo. So here is my outfit of the night. I love it. Cynthia Rowley. I'm obsessed with this fit. It's like some black fringe. And then I've packed a bag with my pink dress for the Kardashian show tonight. I'm so excited for both of these shows. They're both going to be so beautiful. I go, okay, Dad, warning, this is not what I typically do, but I just need some yeah, social let me juice. Fix something on your butt. <laughs> There's string hanging God. from the, the, the zipper. There's We're doing a fireball shot. I'm I need, running on. I need a scissor. Oh. You can use that. I know, but the Uber's almost here, so. You have a little scissor somewhere? Uh huh. Thank you. Because this looks I just bad. need some social. Oh, it looks bad. Thanks yeah. for telling me. True friend. Look, you have this long thing hanging from the middle of your butt. Oh, it's it the like tag. A, it looks like a tag. It looks like <laughs> Alright, I haven't had Fireball in a few weeks. Whew. Cheers. Do you want one? <laughs> no. Mm. Yeah, you're right. The quality of these clothes aren't that good. <laughs> okay. I feel great, bud. <laughs>
I just got back guys. My dad is making me a pizza right now. I'm so excited on cauliflower thin. The show was so cool. There's actually a ton of like TikTokers and like famous models that were walking the Boohoo show, which was so cool. And Kourtney Kardashian literally was like four feet away from me. So that was really cool. Feeling blessed. So fun. That was the last Fashion Week event that I have. So that's a wrap. Tomorrow we're going to see my apartment, do like an empty tour, um, and take measurements and stuff like that. So that'd be fun. I love when dad's here. <laughs> I was just signing the lease, finally. Thank you for the breakfast. Got some of this. Keto bread, see how it tastes, and some eggs, thanks. Good morning everybody, it's Wednesday. I'm so excited because I'm showing my dad my new apartment today and I signed the lease and that is all set in stone. We have to go to the bank, I need to get a bank certified check and we have to do some things, so we're gonna go do that. And then from there, I'm gonna go to my workout with Jane, my trainer. Here's my workout for the day. It's like in the 60s out there right now, you guys. So it calls for a little button up on top. And then um, gonna come back, shower, gonna see my apartment, take measurements. Sierra's coming into town too to like take measurements and see the space, so that'll be fun. And then um, I have a storage unit at this apartment. My dad's gonna help me clean it out to make sure it's like all ready to be moved because there's definitely like junk in there, honestly. And then tonight, we're going to Comedy Cellar because my dad has never been and I literally talk about it all the time. Are you excited? Yes. Big day. This is like your chair over there. <laughs> I love it. Um, all right. Let's get started with this Wednesday. apartment things but dad got a sushi while I was working out and I got a coffee on my walk back so I'm gonna dig in headed to go see the apartment you excited yes. Yay. It's a lot later. Sorry guys, it's just been a busy week. Moving, fashion week, dad here, friends coming tomorrow, birthday, all in like a, in a, a month is a lot, but also really fun. Um, so, we went to the apartment. Sorry I didn't talk, the like realtor ended up like staying in the unit with us the whole time, so I didn't wanna like make it awkward. But um, yeah, that was a little empty apartment tour. I'm seriously so obsessed with the space. It's honestly even better than my last unit. Like, obviously, like, it's just so nice. This building doesn't have any amenities, so other, there's, like, a like a terrace or something, but not on the roof. There's no roof, no gym, um, but maybe it'll be an excuse to finally get an Equinox membership and see what it's all about. Um, so, yeah, I'm just so excited to have that extra room. We were talking with Sierra today, and, like, I think we're gonna do, like, two super long, like, rods, basically, and, like, attach them to the wall in that second mini room. And then make it a closet and then add a vanity in there and have all my shoes on display and merch all my purses. It'll be great. My little closet glam room situation. And I'm just so excited. All the natural light in that place is so special and it's just, it's an upgrade. So I'm definitely really excited. I'm going to miss this place so much. But it was really good and I was really glad I got my dad to see it. And now my apartment is honestly a mess. I'm going to clean. He's downstairs doing something. Um, he's been helping me clean out my storage unit. That's why I haven't vlogged. Um... And we like forgot something down there, so he went to go get it. 
yeah, I'm just gonna clean, and then in about an hour, we're going to the comedy cellar. I'm excited. Dinner time. More cauliflower pizza because I'm obsessed. Tonight's dinner because we only had one crust left. Thank you, Dad. Cauliflower pizza, and then he's got his breakfast. Breakfast for dinner. Cheers. Uber is called. I just did super, super light makeup. Like, you can barely tell, honestly, but whatever. Dress is Revolve. Um, I just wanted to wear something easy and light. Bag is the brand Bob or Collection. Dad, are you freaking excited for Village Underground? I'm very excited. Like, we are gonna have so much fun. Ryan's meeting us there. Last night, best night. Comedy cellar. Here we come. My dad was like, if, if, if there's too much going on, like, we don't have to go. And I'm like, no, 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 like, I need the comedy cellar. Like, it'll de-stress me a little bit, so. Good morning, everybody. It's Thursday, and my dad and I are walking to get something notarized. He's helping me. He's, he's like, you need to do this. He's like, you're right. He's like, I'll walk with you. Comedy Cellar was so much fun last night. Two surprise comedians came out at the end. Maybe weekdays are when the famous people come. The last comedian was Michael Che, who is the head writer for Saturday Night Live. So that was really cool to see him. Um, I know he bops in every now and then. And Dad, you had a good time, right? Yes, very. Lots of laughter, LOL. LOL, met a ton of you guys which always makes me so happy meeting people like, I came because you talk about it. Hopefully you guys had fun. But yeah, we are just walking to do this. And then some of my friends arrive later tonight for my birthday weekend. And I'm going to record Gals on the Go today. Just, and actually get some groceries, just lots of things. So I'm gonna end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed. I love you guys so much. Dad, thanks for being in the Hi. vlog. Hi, girls, and bye, girls. <laughs> Be well. Be, Be well. Good. Dad's off to Atlantic City to thrive with the boys. And I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>